Welcome back to another episode of Tech Talk. I am honored that you've come back to watch. This is the new Honor 9X, which is a special smartphone for two big reasons. The first, this will mark the final phone in the Honor lineup for 2019 and closes out the year with a blower that packs some very decent specs for a limited price tag. The second reason is a little darker. Thanks to the well-documented spat between Honor's parent company Huawei and the US government, this just might be the last ever Honor phone to run Google Apps. While in China, that doesn't mean very much, as those aren't available there anyway. But for those of us here in the Middle East, that is a pretty big deal. So, has Honor saved the best for last? Let's kick things off right off the bat with the price. The Honor 9X comes in at just under 271 US dollars, and from that price, it's one heck of a phone. Those with little hands better beware, but those who think bigger is better certainly won't be disappointed here. Screen resolution is fairly sharp, but the fact that it's an LCD over the increasingly more common OLED panels might turn some people off. However, that said, the LCD on this is certainly very pleasing on the eyes. The highlight here, or rather the notched elephant in the room, is certainly that screen. Where's the notch, I hear you scream? That's right, the Nonar 9X features an all-screen design. There's no notch or hole-punch camera here. Honor manages this magic by fitting a pop-up camera to the top of the phone, one that jumps up when you want to take a selfie. It's an interesting take on the front-facing camera, and while it's not new, it still is rather innovative. You also get a fingerprint reader to the center of the back of the device. Straight from the get-go, you'll notice that while Honor's 9X does more than most at this price point, there are some noticeable slowdowns when compared to other flagship phones. That's to be expected, however, and provided you don't go too crazy trying to play games while recording movies, while downloading apps, you won't test the phone too much. Gaming on the go is absolutely fine on this device, and the downward firing speaker is all right, but proper audiophiles are really going to want to invest in a proper pair of headphones. Fortunately, you also get a 3.5mm jack, a true rarity in the world of smartphones today. Under the hood lies a Kirin 710F chipset, which is an upgrade on last year's device just by a smidgen. Ultimately, it can handle most of what you'd ever throw at it, though. Since Honor has been plucked from Huawei's tech cupboard, they usually have access to some very decent sensors, and the 9X is no exception to that. It still takes very good images, which make use of three back-facing cameras. The main camera here boasts 48 megapixels, which is joined by an 8 megapixel sensor with an ultra-wide lens and a 2 megapixel depth sensor to improve on portrait shots. Ultimately, pictures taken look good, they are bright and have decent contrast. However, when we swiped over to the ultra-wide lens, there was noticeable distortion around some of the edges of the images. Of course, the star here is really that selfie camera. Fortunately, that little guy works perfectly, and when matched with Honor's artificial intelligence, is more than worthwhile for putting your selfies on the gram. At less than $300, this is a pretty special phone. It does everything it needs to with bells on, and certainly will not disappoint those who want high-end functionality in a wallet-friendly package. There is, however, no getting away from the fact that this very well could be the very last Honor phone to come with Google support. And while the phone will continue to receive updates from Google, it just might be the last of a dying breed. But for that, only time will tell. So that has been another episode of Tech Talk. If you liked what you saw, please do hit the subscribe button. We've got another review coming at you each and every week. I'll see you very soon.